Alright, hi, I'm Matt Graves with Soccer Reviews, and I'm here to do an unboxing video for the Real Europa. The Real Europa, as you can kind of see here, it's a very classy black leather boot. I am really kind of impressed with these on first look. They are 100% kangaroo leather in the upper, and it's a fantastic looking shoe. The stitching on these is well done. They were, they're all hand stitched, which is kind of impressive and they're just really well made. They're very soft out of the box. I, I'm i probably not going to take these straight into a game, but I feel like I could. I mean, when I put them on they were a little tight so I'd probably want to break them in a little bit, but in terms of softness these are actually pretty much good to go. Um, I guess kind of the other big point that make with these is what you get when you open the box. You First of all, you get a box. This is what the box tops looks like in case you're interested in that. The other big thing you get with these shoes is an extra pair of laces. I have the black laces currently on my boot, but in addition to that, you have a pair of white laces here. They were much neater when they came in the box. I untangled them a little. But the white laces and black laces you can customize it, but no, they're both really long. So if you want kind of more of a shorter lace, you're probably not going to want to use any of the ones that come with the boot, and you'll have to buy a new pair of your own. And other notes, just no, again, I can't emphasize how beautiful these are, and just how many of the little things they did right. Like they have little brass eyelets, which I don't think you really see that much anymore with soccer shoes. The tongue is really nice and padded. It, I took the laces off this one so you can maybe get a better view of what the tongue looks like. This is a really well padded tongue. There's no foam or anything like that, but shooting in these is going to be a good experience, I'm more than sure of, just based on how the tongue feels. The tongue is also where you see the only mention of the brand name, just kind of here. It's a lot more understated, which I like, because when you think about the old school soccer shoes, they were like these plain back boots and putting a whole bunch of brand name stuff on them would kind of detract from that. I guess one of the other big things I'd like to highlight is, this is another thing that might not be the most visible on camera, but just the way the lining in the boot is. It's lined with Kimbrel, which is a water repellent, and I don't know if that will or will not have an effect on the touch. It makes it quite comfortable, and I imagine makes it thick and protective. It also ha The shoe also has, for what it's worth, a very good heel counter. Like one of the more sturdy ones I've seen in a while. So these are a pretty protective pair of shoes too. I guess uh, the other big thing is just to look at the stud configuration. You have your standard four studs in the back and you have eight studs in the front, one support stud in the middle, three here, four here. It's they're fairly longish studs, but I think this would be a decent pattern to use on turf if you're going to use firm ground shoes on turf. The one reason I wouldn't want to use these particular ones on turf is just because they're so nice and they're like these really nice hand stitched shoes, and they, it just seems like the it just almost seems disrespectful to use them on such an abrasive surface that would do so much damage to boots like these. I'll I'll test them out there because it's my job as a reviewer, but. I don't know, just wearing these on a 3G surface would be like taking the girl of your dreams to McDonald's. It's the wrong place for the right boot. I guess kind of the last thing is fitting with the whole issue of artificial turf. You don't really have the strongest or the thickest insole here. This is a very flimsy little insole. It's not... I don't think it'd be so bad on firm ground or soft ground because you don't really have a whole lot of stud pressure I think with this and the sole itself is flexible but it doesn't seem too thin so I'm not overly worried but stud pressure could be an issue with these and I'll let you know a bit more as I kind of go through the boots a bit more but anyway that's it for a lot of the things I want to highlight is emphasize just how nice these are just look at how well the detailed the stitching is and hopefully I'll have a review up as soon as possible, but in the meantime, if there's anything you want to know about the boots, let us know at Soccer Reviews, comment it on the website, or shoot me an email, or 
talk to me on Twitter. I'd be happy to answer any questions about the boots as I'm testing them if something comes up and you're interested in buying them. If you do want to want to know a little bit more about ordering them now, uh, you can order them on the Rail website and for me they seem to fit true to size, so take that for what it's worth. Though, of course, I haven't really given them a chance to stretch. Anyways, that's it for this review. Thanks for or th for this unboxing video. Thanks for listening and Till next time, Matt Grace for Soccer Reviews.